Hi folks, my name is Phil Thompson with JSL Solutions and here's a question for you. Does your website look like an online version of the TV show Hoarders? You know that show where they show these people that have this personality disorder and they go around and they collect a bunch of stuff. I mean you walk in their home and it's full of clutter. There's piles and piles of stuff, stuff from 1972. It's all over the place. You can't hardly walk around. And it's a it's a reality TV show that's on there. And quite frankly, I've been in homes like that before. In fact, I think one of my one of my relatives is probably a hoarder. Uh, well, I know that, which would explain my issues. But I digress. What I'm getting at is many times you go to church websites and it looks like an online version of clutter. I mean. It's a mess. You can't navigate through it. You can't find what you're looking for. So I want to encourage you to perhaps reorganize your website a little bit, clean up the homepage at least, because over 75% of the people out there today, when looking for a church, look online first. So here's what you should have on your website. Number one, you really should have your service times. That's a given, right? People need to know what time your church services are. The second thing you need to have on your website is your, your location. Again, that's a no-brainer. People need to know how to get to you. And the third thing you should have is contact information. Very clear. So when people are asking questions, they, they might want to talk to somebody about the church, an email or phone number. And another thing would be sermons. Now you could do this with maybe some, uh, some video clips. Uh, if you do streaming, you could have the link there, your archives, or you could just do audio. My church does uh, audio podcasts and gives people a sample of, of what to expect. And then another thing which is uh, sometimes overlooked, donations, a place for people to give online. Uh, my church recently signed up for my company's mobile app and uh, it has a way to give through the mobile app and we picked up an extra $1,500 last month from people giving online. Now they were using a mobile app, but still, uh, if you have it on your website, on your homepage, you'd be surprised. Make it easy for people to give, and you might have to take a little piece of that and give it to PayPal or something like that, but believe me, it's worth it in the long run. And then the other thing you ought to consider having would be a I am new section. So, you know, when people walk in your church for the first time, hopefully you've got somebody that's a greeter, an usher, somebody that can show them around a little bit, bathrooms where the kids are. Well, you need that for your website as well. Have a section for I Am New, so it tells them a little bit about the church, maybe it's a short story about the church, the direction you're going, that kind of stuff, all right? So, don't let your website be an online version of Hoarders, okay? Uh, get it cleaned up a little bit. doesn't have to be fancy, but make it so that people can, can uh, navigate through it pretty simple, and you will be pleasantly surprised. Well, I'm Phil Thompson on behalf of Steve Lacey and the whole gang here. Have yourself a great day.